Good morning, folks. We've got a day of positive news, learning, review, a quieting star, and a strong one. Lots of bright active regions on the sun here, but most are small and none are flaring to any considerable degree. The coronal holes remain patchy at equatorial heliographic longitudes, bringing only minor variations to the solar wind. A period of fewer sunspots should be due on the sun here to transcend the new year as these sunspots head out of view. So let's go ahead and recall what apparently every mainstream media outlet missed this month. Record unfathomable cold in parts of the world, complementing the warmer temperatures those media outlets couldn't shut up about. Well, the polar vortex has shifted, and nobody in the western part of North America is missing this one. Might have heard about the eight feet of snow, the record cold, even stretching down well into California. And indeed, it is a shift in the polar vortex, feeding directly down into the western Americas, whereas this flow took the cold to Siberia and western Alaska just a couple of weeks ago. Folks, it's time for the 2021 Solar Polar Fields Update. For this, we go back to our paper published in 2015. It's highly recommended. Listed below our daily videos, and we also recommend the works that have cited ours. You have a direct link to this list of those papers today. And the basic idea is that the approximately annual shift of the solar polar magnetic fields dictates the greatest earthquakes. They happen at peaks in power, which is the top and bottom of the chart, positive and negative, and at the magnetic reversals, where it crosses the central baseline. Not all fingers are thumbs, but all thumbs are fingers, and that's how this one works. Start of the last decade ran off a number of big ones at magnetic peaks in power, four years in a row, with the fifth over there on the right at the magnetic reversal point. The entire data timeline looks like this, from the 1970s up through the last 50 years. In this zoomed-in time frame, we've got two hitting magnetic reversals on the left, the one bottom middle is one of the few rare model misses, and on the right, top and bottom on either side of the magnetic reversal, we get back into it, and then another peak in magnetism on the far right. You know, randomness expects less than a 10% hit rate. This model has over 80. Let's go have another look here at the biggest four quakes in this time period. Magnetic peak on the left, then magnetic reversal, then magnetic peak, and on the far right, magnetic reversal. Folks, it's the whole timeline following this pattern. So let's go ahead and update the polar fields and biggest quakes from 2017 up to now. Folks, it's following the exact same pattern. Two greens on the left are magnetic peaks. Purple in the middle is a magnetic reversal. And then we've got peaks negative and positive on the right. Folks, 800% better than random expectation. I left no magnitude 8 events out of the timelines I showed. It's the sun. It's the sun. It's the sun when it comes to megaquakes. By the way, it's been six years since our publication and there have been no challenges to it at all. In today's science world, claims like this get slaughtered within weeks if they can't hold water. Folks, we have featured the Serbian team a number of times and today, I not only want to share their progress on ionospheric modeling under solar flare influence, but thank these geniuses from the land of Tesla for actually citing our textbook in their paper. It was done so for the general appreciation of the spectrum of electromagnetic solar output, but that's a heck of a list to be on, don't you think? Interestingly, none of the universities I know of using our textbook are in Serbia, but thanks to this team, and cheers to progress in the upper atmospheric electrodynamics. Folks, I want to continue the positivity here. My family and the Brophies. You might know Drew Brophy, far right, highest end surfboard creator, has come to several of the observers events over the years and is from an entire family of observers. He has been fighting a respiratory failure in red tape politicized medical system and is starting to win a battle most of us would lose. He is stronger than most of us and again, he's giving those signals that he's winning. We hear he wants to hear this news every day in there and let's let him hear our hearts today as well, if you know how. We greatly appreciate your support. That textbook of ours is back in hard copy print in just a few days. Right now at otf.cells.com, we're in the last two days for you to get your name on the Observer Ranch Founder Wall. You can also get the PDF version of those textbooks. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.